What's up everybody? It's your girl Varkiti and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making a kindergarten learning binder. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically a binder full of educational activities for a kindergarten student just with stuff that they should know by the end of kindergarten so i did this like at the start of the pandemic when my nephew was going into first grade there was a lot of things that i knew he was gonna have to learn so i made this binder for him and then a lot of you guys were interested and were asking me to purchase one and i did create a few learning binders i made a toddler one i made a pre-k learning binder a kindergarten and a first grade learning binder i wish i could do more but they're very time consuming so yeah but without further ado i want to show you guys exactly how to do the learning binder just in case you want to make one at home so let's get started so here's an overview of the stuff that you're going to need so you're obviously going to need a binder i really like this one because it has like a little pouch in the front so you can insert like a cover page right here Oh, that's my phone going off. You're going to need some laminating pouches to laminate your pages. You're going to need some Velcro dots and some good scissors because you're going to be doing a lot of cutting. You're going to need a laminator and you're going to need the pages that you're going to use in the learning binder. So let's get started. After I gather all of my materials, I start by putting the printed pages I created into the laminating pouches. This takes some time because I try to be a perfectionist and make sure that they are all straight and in the middle. As you can see here, I'm multitasking. I'm inserting the pages into the pouches and I'm laminating them as I go to make this process go faster. Laminating is so time consuming y'all because the laminator is super slow and you have to do each page individually one at a time. So this is what takes the longest to do. After I laminate all my pages, I start cutting out the cutouts. Honestly, this is one of the hardest parts for me because it's a lot of cutting involved so my little hands and fingers be hurting so much. And as you can see here, the book is made with so much love. tell by the outfit change it is a new day I couldn't finish the entire binder in one day so here I am the next day trying to get the last parts of it together after cutting everything I hope punch all of the pages and place them in the binder in the order that I want them Lastly, I put the velcro dots wherever they're needed. After I put the first velcro dots on, I place the other one directly on top and this helps make sure that they are placed in the right spot so when I put the cutouts on top, they're all aligned. And then I just place the cutouts on top and then this part is pretty self-explanatory so just watch me do what I do because it's hard to explain. 